this is part of the problem overall with Biden's agenda headed into the U.S. Senate is, uh, I mean, for example, uh, there is a bipartisan group of uh, Congress critters in both houses who think his $1.9 billion or $1.9 trillion package on COVID relief is too big. Even Joe Manchin uh, is, is at this point okay with the checks, but he thinks they need a smaller package. Part of the problem here, too, is the budget resolution. The Senate remains unorganized. So let me explain this to you. This is kind of funny. Uh, so the Senate is considered a continuing body. Why? Uh, as a continuing body, the Senate has two-thirds are not up for election. Only a third of the Senate is ever up for election at one time. So the business of the Senate largely continues. As a result, to change the rules in the Senate, you've either got to have some bipartisan agreement on, on the basics of it, or you've got to have a two-thirds vote. The Democrats can't get a two-thirds vote, so they've got to have some uh, agreement on some of the rules changes and get Republicans to go along with it. The Republicans won't go along with a rules change in the Senate unless the Democrats uh, give them an agreement they won't scrap the legislative filibuster. The Democrats are refusing to give them that. So the result is that uh, on the floor of the Senate, Chuck Schumer is still in charge. But the committees in the Senate can't be reorganized. Again, it's an ongoing, continuous body because only a third of it is up for re-election. So new senators cannot get seated on committees, which leaves Republicans in charge of the committees. So you've got majority Republican control, control of committees and majority Democratic control of the Senate floor. And that's an untenable situation. The Democrats are trying to, to scream and cry and blame Republicans, and the Republicans don't care. They want to preserve the filibuster. They want an agreement from the Democrats. They essentially want to force the Democrats. Well, there's one thing the Republicans can't block. The Republicans can't block a budget resolution. The Republicans can't block this process through which the Democrats could then try to build a reconciliation package with the budget resolution. Now, in 2017, there were 700 amendments to the budget resolution. In 2017, there, there was a, an organizational stall in the Senate to a degree, and the budget resolution had to come forward. There were 700 amendments offered because the majority and minority could not agree on a, a package for the flow so you can expect more than a 1,000 amendments to the budget resolution, which will drag out the process. And you won't be able to get the committees to agree on anything because the Republicans control the committees while the Democrats control the floor. So chaos in the Senate reigns. So this impacts the COVID relief legislation. Biden wants a $1.9 trillion package. Even some Democrats say we just passed one. Uh, we don't need to pass another one that big. Let's wait and see how things play out. There's some data in the economy that looks okay. There's a lot of data that doesn't look good, but there's some that looks okay. Uh, unemployment benefits, though, have been extended until March, so there's no rush for them to do something immediately. Uh, this opens the door for more chaos in the Senate. And it also means that Joe Biden can't get everything he wants. And if Joe Biden wants to get the stuff he wants, he's going to have to go along with Mitch McConnell and try to cut a bipartisan deal. If Joe Biden cuts a bipartisan deal, it's not going to be as progressive as what progressives want.